If you're looking for the wood primers here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have Zinsser Bulls I1-2-3 Spray Primer. This one may be small, but it does its job very effectively. Like its larger cousin, option number 9, this is a bright white primer. That brightness helps to bring out the color of the top coat, though it may not be helpful for darker colors. More importantly, it helps to mask any stains that might be on the surface. Quick and easy. If you want a convenient way to do a small job, this product is probably the one to get. It can be applied to smooth and rough surfaces, so you won't need to waste any time sanding. You should clean the surface to remove dust and debris, but that's all you need to do before spraying the primer in place. Not for large jobs. This is a great small-scale product, but it's still a small-scale product. Each can will only cover about 10 square feet. Thus, this product is not a cost-effective option for medium-sized or large jobs. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Rust Oleum Zinsser Bulls I1-2-3 Primer. This is a bright white primer with a water-based formula. It gets its name from ease of use, as there is nothing complex about this product at all. It works for just about any surface, its bright color brings out the paint nicely, and it hides stains like a champ. Very easy to use. This one does a great job of adhering to most surfaces without sanding. This saves time and also saves money on sandpaper. Its consistency is neither too thick nor too thin, making it quick and easy to apply without leaving marks. You also don't have to worry about the top coat, as this primer will work with just about anything. High cost. The main problem with this product is its high cost. This is the most expensive item on the list, although option number 4 is a close second. I don't really see any special features or advantages to justify this cost, even though this is a good all-around product. This one also doesn't provide a great deal of moisture resistance. The advertising says that it should not be used on certain types of particle board without first applying a sealer. From this, we can see that it will require many coats for this one to achieve good moisture resistance. The number 8 position is held by KILZ Odorless Interior Oil-Based Primer. This primer is an indoor oil-based. While it isn't a maximum performance option, if you don't need special or maximum performance then this is a product that will do what you need at a fair price range. In other words, it is an average option. Despite the fact that it has a mid-range performance, it is still a really good primer. It's great for covering up stains and good at covering up odors on many types of surfaces including wood. It's also fast drying, unlike many other oil-based options. It dries to the touch in about half an hour. The downside is that it isn't great for mildew and mold-prone areas, so you shouldn't use it in kitchens, bathrooms, or other areas that are constantly exposed to moisture. Next at number 7 we have INSLX Sticks Waterborne. This is an acrylic primer that is meant for the most difficult situations. Rather than being a general-use product, this one is specialized for hard jobs. It adheres to smooth and glossy surfaces like tile with incredible strength and provides a great seal against moisture. Meant for hard use, this one is meant to be a sealer as well as a primer, but it should be noted that there are limits to its ability. The label clearly says that it's not meant for constant wetness or underwater use. Since only marine paint is suitable for these things, we shouldn't be too surprised. That being said, this product is the next step down from marine paint. It should be suitable for indoor or outdoor use and will lock out the humidity that can normally cause wood to rot. Good for the cold. A lot of primers don't work well in cold temperatures. This can be a problem because work still needs to be done in the winter. This primer is a good choice for those who live in cold climates because it will work in temperatures as low as 35 degrees. Expensive. I do see a few problems with this product. For one thing, it's one of the most expensive items on today's list. 
Thus, I wouldn't recommend this one for very large projects. It's only available in quart cans anyway, so this product is obviously intended for smaller projects. This stuff also takes longer to dry than most of our other options, needing 3 to 4 hours where most products require only 1 to 2. Also, there are some discouraging precautions when we look at the product's advertising. We are told not to apply this primer in direct sunlight, with polyethylene slash polypropylene, or on hot surfaces. It also has to be kept away from all moisture for 24 hours after drying. The number 6 position is held by KILZ Original Stain Blocking Oil-Based Primer. This is a primer that has been around for a long time, and which has established a good reputation. It's one of the more cost-effective options, and it's even cheaper when buying the 5-gallon size. It offers a lot of versatility, as it is not specialized for any one kind of job. Very versatile product. This product provides a durable finish, dries within an hour, often less, and works with just about any kind of top coat. The label says that it works with alkyd, oil, and water-based primers, which covers just about everything. Most people have remarked on the good coverage provided by this product, giving 75 to 100 square feet per quart. That is a handy thing, no matter what task you're doing. Trusted and affordable. This one has earned its reputation, and that is not something to ignore. It may not be anything fancy, but you can be pretty sure that this product will do its job. The cost per gallon is reasonable, as well. Smell. This stuff does smell a little strong, so make sure you open a window before you open that can. Some people have claimed that it's a little too thick, leaving brush marks and streaks. However, they might have simply bought a can that was past its expiration date. It should be noted that this is an interior-only primer. It will not work for outdoor jobs, so don't try to use it that way. The number 5 position is dominated by Zinsser Cover Stain Interior. Shines like the sun. As you might guess from the heading, this is probably the shiniest product on my list. Oil-based primers have a high shine anyway, so the addition of a polyurethane sealer will only add to that quality. Even though you are going to paint over this stuff, that extra shine will affect the look of the paint. If you really want your wooden surfaces to glisten in the sun, this is the product to get. Tough but flexible. Between the oil and the poly, it provides an exceptionally tough finish that should hold up for a long time. Flexibility is very important for a wood primer because wooden objects will always flex and swell with time. We are talking about a very small amount of movement here, but it can be enough to make your paint flake away. If your primer begins to flake away, you can bet that the top coat will soon follow. The only way to prevent this problem is to use a flexible finish like this one. Quart only. It would be nice if this product were available in larger sizes, as it is currently available in quart size only. Large jobs will require quite a few cans, and that's usually more expensive in the end. It would also be nice if this product were a little less toxic and flammable. Moving on to the next at number 4 with Rust Oleum Painters Touch Latex Primer. The primer comes in two color choices, flat white or flat gray. This product has a good consistency and excellent quality, so you could use it as a standalone color for your wooden projects. It is also really good to use on trim and furniture since it has rich color and dries quickly. For trim, you may have to add an additional coat. It also has a very low odor, a common quality of latex paint, so you won't be exposed to harmful fumes. It's a pretty thick, so it provides good coverage in one coat. This means you can get your project done even faster with less effort. The disadvantage of it being thick is that it may not be the best choice if you want to spray it. The number 3 position is held by KILZ Restoration Interior Latex Primer. This is an excellent primer that has a lot of good reviews. While no product is perfect, this one does offer plenty of advantages. It is not available in small cans, but this isn't a big problem. When you need some primer, you usually need a lot, and so we won't deduct any points for that. Fight Stain and Odor The most distinctive feature of this product is its ability to lock out stains and odors, or to lock them in, if you prefer. This can be a definite advantage for some projects, such as those that involve pets or small children. 
In some cases, people use this product as a subcoat underneath their flooring. This does a great job of keeping odors and stains from getting through the paint. For rooms that have a lot of traffic, that's a nice little option to add. Hybrid Qualities This is a water-based product, but it performs more like an oil-based product in some ways. This gives it some of the advantages of both products. It is tough like an oil finish, but offers the easy cleanup of a water finish. Of course, this stuff won't be as hard as an actual oil-based primer, but it does offer a little more durability. Needs many coats. There are a few little problems with this product, even though it is very good overall. Most of the negative reviews focus on two problems, a short shelf life and a tendency to be too thin. Many people say that they have to use more coats than normal to get the same results. To be honest, the short shelf life is the only serious problem. Because this product is meant for high durability use, you should probably be using multiple coats anyway. It's more work, but the result will be much tougher. Next at number 2 we have Zinsser BIN Primer Sealer. Zinsser is a brand that is a part of the Rust Oleum family of paints and primers. This particular product is one of the oldest and most trusted shellac-based primers and sealers on the market. Shellac-based primer can be thought of as heavy-duty stuff. If your main concern is covering up stains and sealing odors on new or painted wood surfaces, then shellac is the way to go. Keep in mind that shellac-based primers have a high odor and the most amount of volatile organic compounds VOCs. Your room has to be well ventilated if you are going to be in an enclosed space. Finally the number one position is dominated by KILZ Premium High Hide Stain Blocking Latex Primer. This is a great water-based option from KILZ Premium line of primers. It will give you a super smooth surface to paint and, like most water-based primers, it's great at filling imperfections in porous surfaces. This makes it a really good choice for softwood surfaces. It is also less likely to raise the grain of the wood. It's slightly better than most water-based options at hiding stains. The great quality of this product is the mildew side, besides that, it is similar to a lot of other water-based primers. You can also consider this option for color changes, since it has excellent adhesion properties and will adhere well to old paint. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.